Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Adobe Extension Tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how you can make an extension that works in any Adobe program uh, by simply modifying the manifest.xml file. So we're going to be basically showing you the code required for each of the programs and demoing it in just a couple like After Effects, Premiere, Illustrator, and InDesign. Before we get started with this video, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel, and down in the description you can check out the code snippet for this in the GitHub link, follow us on there as I upload code on there much earlier than the videos themselves. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, you can join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. And if you'd like to help support the YouTube channel and become a channel member, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP and get cool perks like uh, VIP live streams and other cool things like that. So I'm going to get started by actually downloading uh, my own Adobe extension testing code because uh, I actually do not currently have it as I have recently had a computer upgrade. So I'm just going to download that and illustrate how you can actually use it from scratch. So we can go ahead and just copy this entire folder called extension testing and paste it inside of our uh, extensions folder here. And now the only thing we're going to be looking at in this tutorial to make sure that our extension works in any program is to modify the manifest.xml located in the CSXS folder. If you already have any applications open of Adobe, you want to restart these because whenever you paste in a new extension or make a modification to this manifest file, you'll always want to make sure uh, that you restart to basically make sure it has a fresh look at everything and loads properly. So we have extension testing here, which is just a blank extension right now, which is perfect. We now want to illustrate how we can make this work in Illustrator and other cool programs. So if I go ahead and load up the manifest itself from my extension testing here, you can see right now we just have After Effects. All of the programs that our extension will work in are going to be located inside of Execution Environment and under Host List, under each host, uh, basically, display here. So we have AEFT, which stands for After Effects, and of course we can specify the version or uh, specific ranges of versions if you want as well. And to illustrate how you could do a range of versions, you'd simply put it within brackets and say like, till version 99.9, .9, and that would give you full support uh, if there was maybe a hundredth version or more specific things like that. But now let's go ahead and just take a look at each of the programs that we can include. Let's see if I can actually get this whole list correctly based on these abbreviations. But we have Dreamweaver. I believe this is Flash Pro or Flash Professional. InDesign. AICY. That's actually a tough one. I'm not sure. Some of these I may actually have to just guess on. Maybe if we load up our whole list of applications here, we can see AICY. I mean, I don't know what that could possibly stand for. Maybe animate or Adobe character animator. That, that's a tough one. If, if you know any of these, make sure you put it in the comments down below. AICY. ILST, quite obviously Illustrator. Uh, PHSP, Photoshop. PHXS, that's a little bit different. It might be for two different kinds of Photoshops. Um, that's another tough one, actually. PPro, quite obvious as Premiere Pro. That's one we've used quite commonly before. We have Adobe Prelude, uh, After Effects, AEFT, Demo. I'm actually not sure about Demo either. Some of these may not even be well documented, but these are all the ones that I actually located. We have Audition, Lightroom, and Muse, Adobe Muse. So a couple of them I'm not sure about, specifically AICY. Um, I don't know why there might be two Photoshops. And Demo. But other than that, you can paste these inside uh, to make in them work in any of these programs. So let's go with Illustrator. Add Illustrator. Um, we can add, where was InDesign? IDSN, I'm assuming is InDesign. And then we want this to also work in, let's say, Premiere Pro. These are probably some of the more common programs, including Photoshop. And let's go ahead and save this. 
Um, as you can see, I'm getting an access denied error, which probably means I need to launch my program as an admin. So I'll go ahead and launch Sublime Text as an admin. And now we can save that appropriately. Um, I already have it open in After Effects, but let's open After Effects, Premiere. And I'll also open Illustrator and InDesign. We'll just load up everything right now. First, we'll start with After Effects. We'll check our extension testing. Loads just fine in After Effects. Check that off the list. We'll load up Premiere. And we have extension testing, which loads just fine inside of Adobe Premiere. We can try InDesign. You can see we have extensions on Exchange here. Oh, and under extensions here, we have extension testing, which again, we can load in InDesign now. And lastly, let's go ahead and try it with Adobe Illustrator. We have extensions, extension testing, which loads just fine inside of Adobe Illustrator. And again, you can go into this uh, document on GitHub, check out the other versions. If you have a guess as to what AICY, um, what the different Photoshop versions might be, as well as what demo is, uh, props to you, and uh, we'll be sure to update that as well. But that's how you can use uh, your extension in any Adobe program. You just need to include the proper host name and whatever version minimum you're comfortable with the extension working in as well. That's going to do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out this code again on GitHub. Try it out for yourself. And make sure you follow us there for updates on code as we post them there way before the videos. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. And of course, join the YouTube channel, link in the description. You can become a channel member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, get cool perks, and help us out financially. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.